Okay, in the beginning when we were digging down, we've got this very loamish, um, darker red, well, blonde, but it's most um, almost clay-like. Uh, it's not dense. Um, as we got down, the bigger boulders started to disappear. They were sitting mostly on the surface. We got to medium size, and now we've gotten down to you know, medium to small, and we're down about two and a half feet. But at the two foot level, and when we hit it, we noticed something. The, the actual sand, let me get a close up. The actual sand has become much more coarse. And to us, that's a good sign, that's, that's heavier. Um, it's crushed up rock that didn't get time to turn into actual dusty sand, you know, fine grain sand, it wasn't rolled as much. Amongst our finds, there were, these were all very different colored. You'll see them in the pictures I took. Um, this is a large chunk of stone that, as you can see, sorry, there it is, now you can see it, um, is very squared off, rectangular, I should say. It didn't get a chance to um, grind down like the others. Now, these have traveled further, is that indication, and this one has come from a little closer by. So, that being at the two-foot level, roughly, um, it was placed here a long time ago, but from closer by. Up north of us, we have several gold mines, um, an incredible number when you really look at it. Um, you're looking at about 40 to 50 different gold mines that have been opened over the years, and most of which are closed, but they're um, still inspecting those areas for placer gold, for veins. Um, they know that there's more there. So we are now hitting on the uh, heavier sands, the, the rough stuff. And it's much darker in color than the red. Um, we had some lighter in between that's kind of buried now in the pile. So we're excited to uh, give this a pan and see what we get out of it. Okay, we'll let you know in a bit. Bye.